Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tom Court, and in this clip, I'm going to show you how to change the chicken loop on your duotone click bar. It's worth noting that the duotone bars do not come with the chicken loop included, so you have to order those separately. So to change between the chicken loops, you will need the Allen key tool, the spike tool, and also the Allen key screw that comes provided with each of the chicken loop setups. Step one in changing between the chicken loops. Pull back the iron heart release and make sure the reverse release pin holds the system open, which reveals the hole inside the iron heart. Insert the Allen key pin into the hole inside the iron heart and screw slightly in. Once that's in place, then you want to choose the chicken loop that's right for you. For this one, I'm gonna put the freestyle chicken loop on. So once you have chosen the chicken loop that's right for you, you then thread on the chicken stick onto the end of the chicken loop, corresponding with the rope and the metal bushing that is on the end of the chicken loop, and then insert that into the bottom of the iron heart system so that the metal bushing on the end of the chicken loop lines up with the Allen key screw. If, for whatever reason, the metal bushing comes out from inside the end of the chicken loop, then it is very difficult to get that metal bushing back inside the string loop at the end of the chicken loop. This is where the spike tool comes in. The metal bushing fits perfectly onto the end of the spike tool and then the spike tool is used to reinsert that metal bushing back onto the end of the chicken loop. Just in case you find it hard to do with your fingers, you can use the end of the Allen key to push the rope down over the metal bushing. Once it's fitted flush with the bottom of the chicken loop and you're confident that the metal bushing is lining up in the right direction to meet the Allen key screw, you then proceed to screw in the rest of the Allen key screw. This screw should screw in easily and freely. If there's any obstruction, you should take it out and check again. You want to screw the Allen key in until it is flush with the Ironheart system and won't obstruct the quick release. Once the screw is fully in, it's simply a matter of bending the new chicken loop round, clipping it into the Ironheart reverse release pin and releasing the quick release system so that your chicken loop is fitted in place. So there you have it. That is how you fit the freestyle chicken loop to your duotone click bar. You can find the spare parts for all of our duotone products at your local dealer, your nearest shop, or online on our website.